Hello, people. Pain stream. All right, so let's get to it. These are probably going to be from that, um, that book that we mentioned yesterday. What women don't know and men don't tell you. I mean, that's a little like, arrogant <laughs> to think that all men have the same things to say and that uh, these people could tell me what it is. But we'll go with it. See if there's any good nuggets we can glean out of here. Ready? Go. Um, everyone enjoys feeling instead of thinking. Probably. Both are important. I wouldn't minimize one over the other. But thinking is a challenge, right? It can be a little exhausting and stressful, but it's important too. The wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears her down, tears hers down. The wise woman builds her house, comma, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. Proverbs 14, 1. Um, yeah, I'm sure same, you can say the same thing about guys. That's why you pick it on women. People, how about people, the wise person? Proverbs, suck it. <laughs> There's generally good advice. Um, although, um, I think a lot of it is sexist. That's okay. 2,000 years ago, however many years ago the Old Testament was. Um, I think that these historical documents um, need to be understood in the context of the present day. Personally, not everyone believes that I understand. And I can respect that, if you can respect that I also have a different opinion from you. That would be nice. Happiness is part of being whole. It means having an understanding of your identity and purpose, an established feeling of acceptance and value, and a sense of destiny, joy, and peace, all of which produce overall well-being. Yeah, obviously. Um, but I also wonder <clears throat> chicken or the egg does having those things produce happiness or does being in a sense uh, just feeling happiness then allow you to have those other things that's the uh, the enigma of the ages I would say however you can do it do it because it's important to be happy. You are complete through your union with Christ. Colossians 2.10. Okay. And I think by that, I would interpret that to mean uh, oneness with, with God, with the universe, which you are part of. God is part of. If God was the only thing that existed, I've had this issue I have this conversation with Christians who don't agree with me. And that's fine. You don't have to agree with me. I just chalk it off being a little uh, myopic. But um, if God was all there was to begin with, and energy cannot be created or destroyed, then we must be created from God. Burp. We are, of course we are, duh. Um, wholeness comes from within. When you know who you are, nothing can change your heart condition except you. Knowing who we are requires filling that God-sized void in us that only God can fill. Relationships cannot provide what God was meant to provide. We must be willing to allow God to rule in our lives. Yeah, and I would agree with that. Wholeness comes from within. Um, you can use God. You can use self-love. You can use a spirit. You can use whatever you want there. Um, but no, relationships are a, an, a band-aid, really. They're more of an external 
fix that you can mask. You know, like I just bought some boots on sale at Nordstrom. I put them on as soon as I got home. I walked around in them, felt all fancy, can't wait to wear them out. But eventually there's just gonna be another pair of my boots. And then I'm gonna want another pair of boots. Boom. Marriage is not the key to happiness. It is the closest thing to heaven or hell that you can find on earth. <laughs> that's probably true. I don't know. I mean, that's super, like, super generalizing, but it's, but it is true, right? I mean, there's a lot of things that could be heaven. Looking at a flower can be heavenly. Um, having an orgasm can feel like heaven. And there's a lot of things that could feel like hell, right? I'm sure being a POW, probably close to hell. Probably is hell, right? We create on earth as above, so below. So um, happiness can be, a marriage can be whatever you want. It's definitely not the key to happiness, that's for sure. God, if you are getting married thinking that's gonna solve all your problems, call me in five years, let me know how that goes. Whatever has distracted you has mastered you. Mike Murdoch, M-U-R-D-O-C-K. Whatever has distracted you has mastered you. Mm, it's a full moon today. Is that why I'm a little like <laughs> dissing all these things that I wrote? Um, whatever has distracted you has mastered you. I don't know about mastered. Like, you know, people always make that joke about ADD people that they're like squirrel. Well, it's a distraction. I don't know if it mastered you for that second. Um, but I understand the concept. You haven't um, you've allowed yourself to be distracted by something else. You haven't stayed um, the course of whatever course you're on. Finally, if a relationship is has isolated you from people's questions you already know it's not right for you. If a relationship has isolated you from people's questions, you already know it's not right for you. Yeah, I think, maybe. I mean, if you don't want to talk to people about your relationship, uh, you know, it's, you probably know it's not right, but you are enjoying it for now, or there's something about it that you want, and you know in the long term it's not gonna be right for you, but you're cool with that. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a drug addict, right? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. In the long run, that's so good. Um, so interesting things to ponder. Sorry if this one didn't help you. Hopefully it made you think. Makes you think. Think, thinking, not as fun as feeling. Depends on what you're feeling, I think. Peace out.